welcome to Tights TV. Uh, Neil Lance here. Going to be talking, obviously, we're defeating Bristol Street Cup against Manchester United, uh, under 21s. Obviously, a striker situation. Now, Max Watters looks like he's out injured. And we're not having some preview game. We're going to be looking into that. What's to play for? Back at home, is pressure back on us? Two mid table uh, teams. Quite a bit to talk about. So, first things first. Get back to the Bristol Street Motors game. And it's probably been said before, even Daryl Clark's come out with it, is that uh, quite a lot of young lads have been in that uh, youngish side. Some pleasing aspects to the game. Uh, young Nathan, again, uh, highly, highly praised and rightly so. It looks like a, a player for the future, if not now, um, with what he's bringing to the table. Josh Benson as well, returning to set up. Again, how many more minutes is he going to be before he's going to be, you know, pick up another injury? I hope it's not, because it gives uh, us, or Daryl, his battle will staff another option. The players in certain areas, but again, it's great to see him have some minutes. Another young lad as well, what I've uh, been highly, highly praising, really, so, uh, is young Wilkinson, um, 15 year old kid. Oliver Wilkinson, 15 year old kid. Again, a star at future, you'd like to think so. You're looking at like such as Jallos and, uh, and other players like that coming through ranks. You'd like to think that we've got another another gem there. So some some positives to fetch out on it. Karen Lofthouse as well. Again, what it, a bit disappointing on the second half. I materialised where it's fair to say Manchester United on 21s. Came into it, you know, some of the goals, you know, Martin Devane is a uh, lad uh, playing, so a proud moment for uh, Martin for his lad to play. Darren Fletcher, I believe it was his son. Again, what a goal that was. Um, and again, it's one of them where you can see the, the gulfs. Would you, from that game, would you see, could you see any of Manchester United youngsters coming into? Barnsley set up as a maybe a loan, an option. Again, there was some talent there, no doubt. As is with the will be other Premier League sides. And I think that's where we need to be looking. We'll get on about strikers and, and back as, as we go on. But again, I think it just goes to show the the academy of what we've got. We are developing. We are we have got some hidden hidden talent there. Just mentioned there, young Nathan Wilkinson. Fabio Jallo, who you know we've been knocking on the scenes for last season and a bit highly, highly regarded. Would you like to see some more come through? Yeah, of course you would. You'd like you'd like to see some more come through. But in grand scheme of things, you've got to think on on this catchment area, the teams we're up against. The selling point for me for Barnes is that a great academy kind of setup and the potential is that what you can achieve if you do make it at Barnsley. Look at the players that do go on and actually make a career, you know a great place, Barnsley, to develop your career. Uh, we do get young ones to go, you know, as and when they can be. You just don't, but the, that gem's going to come through and shine, and, and shine back a bit brighter than uh, the, the rest and make the most of the opportunity. You look at other, at other academies and you're looking at Premier League, maybe some championship, but man, folks on Premier League, the abundance of uh, young talent they've got there, you know, and in respects to Manchester, United, City, Chelsea, Everton, Tottenham, West Ham, Liverpool, you, you can go on forever and a day. The amount of youngsters we get through into their setups, how many realistically make the, make the grade, make the chance. If you do, you, you're very lucky. And then that's when your you, team, such as probably Barnsley, are all, all, all open to like be there to pick up what don't quite cut the mustard at the Premier League level. But might come to his own club, Barnsley. We can, uh, you know, make it a player, uh, make that player shine. And I think that's what we need to be looking at. You know, you look at the talent that Man U have got. Obviously, the size of a club, they're going to have that big catchment, but that's what we're up against. So, and I, I've seen some stuff on social saying, you know, at this point, I'm lost. And, you know, when we brought humans on, it, it, it made a change in the difference in game. Again, you've got to like 
well, we're batting above his weight kind of thing. I don't know, but we give him we give him a game, you know, three two. Disappointed in manner, you know. I'm not saying that it's acceptable, but disappointed in manner. But again, talent came through. Again, on about uh, Waters strike situation. Again, my take on it is it is a new thing. If it's being honest, I've just been doing a bit of research, and you know, I think you can go back to 2020, so 21 season when this has been highlighted. It's been an issue balance for many many years it's not just this season but i think my personal opinion has been again progressively worse in that department the striking option you can go back to i think it's 2020 stroke 21 season where we had carlton morris uh and woodrow up there had Bayesio, you know then you look around you've got such a george miller Kevin thompson patrick Schmidt. so you're looking at yeah, no disrespect, you look you're looking at two decent strikers and then below that you're open. And I think last season I just highlighted the problem with Devante Cole for what is 18 goals and McAtee 12, 13, something like that. I'm not even double figures. Got to replace some goals for somewhere. Where we're gonna do it from? We've got Andy Dallas going out on loan, Ollie Shaw, whenever Anthony has gone back up Scotland. So you're now then left with Waters and Cosgrove hoping Aidan Marsh is going to step up to play, which I think he's been here a few seasons, been out on loan a lot, and then Fabio Jallo injured. But again, you can't be relying on a young kid like that. When you strip back back and you're thinking, where's the, where's the depth? We're going to the last few days, week, week and a bit, the transfer window, and where's it going to happen even when we were under duff we brought in tedic james norwood what, what a difference he made and i think he also played in pro players around him as well norwood for what his faults will be you know for whatever it was behind the scenes i, I certainly feel felt like he brought out the best in players around him for it without shadow of doubt last season we had mcatee cosgrove and cole so you've got three you know Three players there that you know are mainstays this season are struggling. We are struggling. And again, this is a new problem for me anyway. And you can you can go back in, you know, go back to uh, Connor Chaplin and that area. Again, you, you can keep going back and going back over seasons. Look at the players that have come in and look at the area where we, you know, and people say, yeah, but last season we, we were, you know, we were, up there with goal scorers and you know we, we did this and you know we're winning three you know four and out and that's fine and i know we were a, a mickey tech sign a strike have been going and doing rounds last se season a few people put it on socials and again i'm not saying the club aren't doing out but now and again you have got to spend a bit of money you can't you're not if strikers what that easy to go out and get on free agent or you know a contract player but i think every club will be doing it you know keller dunn i know it's been rumored there's been all sorts of flying about mansfield a bunch of the next amount of pounds and they're all of this but for me especially that area as a striker there's not many strikers you go out and spend wisely and not be too bad out in it yeah i'm looking at carlton morris for one you know he came in we sold profit. I would like to think that if you're buying, for instance, Ella Dunn, what price are going about? You read it's like 700, 750 grand, whatever that on them. You would like to think that a player like that is going to only improve, not in just the quality of the player, but also in monetary value as well, with an added seller with clause and XYZ. And again, a striker's a premium, of course. Everybody wants a striker, what's getting 20 goals a season. Good luck finding that one. But we do need options. And I think at the moment in time, that's what Barnes haven't got. I like to issue. What was it going to be starting from two? Is it going to be because we're over Aiden Marsh? Fine. But then who are you going to go on bench? You know, you're going to be looking down, such as young Josh Jayet, young 15 year old kid, Ollie Wilkinson. Is he going to be coming on because he had some minutes? And again, we. 
I want lads, I want local lads to do well all day long, of course I do. But in realistic terms, when you're looking at other teams in the league, you can't be gambling. You can't be gambling like that, hoping that we're going to come good. You don't want to shatter the confidence for another thing. So for me, again, I personally, I know it's been said, I think we did a live and I think two, maybe three strikers. I would like to see at least two strikers come in, whether that be one permanent, one loan. I don't want to be going down the option of two loans coming in because we know when it comes to end of season, them loan players are going to be going back and we're going to be left in the position that we are now, like a T situation. You know, it's one of them where, for whatever reason, it's gone to Bolton. Fair play, Bolton player now. But that leaves Barnsley in a precarious position coming up to the game at weekend, which we'll get on about in, in a minute against Northampton. It could be being a major loan deal brought in the last minute before, you know, for the game. Very much doubt it. And if so, would it be much for it? Again, a lot of a lot of questions revolving around this situation, and I'd like to know your thoughts on this in comments below. For me, it's not been a, a new issue. It's not just happened this season where oh, we are short in this department. I think we've been short in this department for a fair few seasons now, three maybe four seasons. And yeah, before was you know we pulled the gem out. Matt T did well as a long player. We we as fans took to him, not a problem. But then you look at season before Norwood and Tedich. Again, Tedich didn't cover mustard. He did a job when he came on. He was a long player. He went back. I think he had a failed spell at Charlton. He went back to Man City. Look at Norwood. I, I put, like I said before, in previous in, in video, I think he made a difference at the club, either on the training pitch or in the players around him as a general. I think he made a vast difference here. You go back to Carlton Morris. Collar Woodrow, for his faults, he's still hit double figures. Some people might say, would you bring uh, Collar Woodrow back? Why would you bring Collar Woodrow back? Is it too much of a similar player to Cosgrove? And again, that's what we need to be doing. We need to be looking at their situation and building around it. Like we have done, bringing players in up to now, you know, uh, Gabby, is goalkeeper, looks a gem. You know, Matthew Craig in midfield, looks a good player. So the recruitment side up to now is fine. But the strike situation just leaves me a bit worried on what's going to happen and develop over the next week or so. And again, an home game, another home game coming up. You'd like to think we're going to follow follow it up with a, a, a win. You know, Mansfield at home for game of the season didn't go his way. If it had been more clinical, it could have been a different story, but it could have been on six points rather than three. So that's my talk about strike situation. I don't want to bore you all, but let me know your thoughts on the strike situation. Has it been, you know, getting worse over the seasons? Can we make it better? It's a club. Northampton Town game, coming back to that. <sighs> Two teams sat in mid-table. I think we're on 13th. Yeah, we're on 13th from Northampton and one below. Same points. I think it's just goal difference, basically. But I think that might be even the same. <sighs> I can see this going. You want to balance a win. Of course you do. Is it going to change? The only things I can see it changing is probably front two, what we've touched on earlier, but strike situation. Will Northampton come with a threat? Yeah. Like any other team in, in this league, a threat for a different reason. I would like to think it's going to be a balance of win. Is it going to be a comfortable win? It all depends on what happens up the final third. Pines, I would like to see same more or less setup if i'm being honest the same starting 11 albeit front two going to cause grow up and another like let's be marsh but you know looking looking at the looking at the, the side setup i know that clark said he you know he won't have a of a enthralled in, in with with it with a game at weekend it were a win and he, you know even he against lincoln a ground that we hadn't done great at previously. So I'm thinking, that's Daryl's standards. I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. In the same respect as 
you know, he also Villano also on his backing because I think even Daryl will be scratching scratching his head when he takes his baseball cap off, but scratching his head and thinking if I had X Y Z player up here, maybe it could have been a different scenario. But no, it, it touched on and highlighted on certain mistakes, certain sharpness. It could have been a lot quicker decision making, and he gives us fans ten out of ten against Lincoln and the team as a whole is free. Which I'm like, wow, you know, it's refreshing to hear a, a gaffer come out and say that. But if that's your standard, let's go with it. Let's roll. Let's let's roll with standard. I'll I'll go with that all day long. So a Northampton game. You'd like to think he's you know he's seen run out of some lads. I'll just mention them here, young Nathan and uh, Josh Benson in uh, cup against Manuel on the twenty ones. Could some of them players be in contention for bench? Again, all about impressing the gaffer and show what he can do. And I think there's a striking spot, if not two striking spots here, to be cemented and nailed on. I said, you know what? I want to make this mine. Look at the possibilities. You could be your starting striker, guaranteed 15 spot, because you're absolutely hammering it week in, week out. And I think someone needs to grab back with scruff at neck as much as like what Daryl's been holding to is that I want that passion, I want that standard, I want that work rate there. For me, you know, I've seen a lot about Corey O'Keefe, not had a great game. Go with Barry Cotter, you know, there's other options there. I'm going for a win, I'm going for... I'm hoping goals are going to come in. I want to say three one Barnsley. That's not taking out away from Northampton one bit, but I just feel that at home on a Saturday, not a Friday, a Saturday afternoon, that Barnsley are gonna win three one. Is it gonna be comfortable? I'm not gonna say it's gonna be comfortable. I think we're gonna have his moments, but Back to winning ways at all. Well, let's let's get this momentum going. Let's get this progression going. Let's get some strikers into it. Let's let's build on it. Let's let's build on it. Um again, them's my thoughts. I'm going for a Barnes to win. Definitely need two strikers in, if not three. Standards need to improve. Daryl Clark's mentioned that after Lincoln City game. Let me know your score predictions as well. Be interested to see where this goes strikers and you know, score predictions and that one thing we do need is a balance of win back oh well i think we all can i think we all need that i think we all need that um met oh well back here and now a buzzing vibrant place let's let's get behind them as we always do Dal appreciated that against lincoln let's fetch that back into this game against northampton coming up this saturday again thanks for watching i'd love to read your comments that's all we can have a good weekend. Let's have a good start a weekend, a bank holiday weekend. Barnes and win, yes, please. Thank you very much. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>